how's it going guys is epsilon and today's video we are going to be showing you a really amazing money making method that you can use on fresh start worlds it's going to generate about 3 million gp an hour which is really really good uh, and it's super simple and of course uh, you can use it as well to earn a ton of prayer experience make it completely free and it's super super quick you can get up to uh, your protect melee range etc and it's going to take you a very very short time if that is what you're after as opposed to just the money so how can you do it well let's actually have a look and of course we are talking about the blue dragon training method now you might think hmm blue dragons of course they're not going to be good gp well it's actually all about the bones and the prayer uh, that you're going to be able to generate from these things and we're going to give you the rundown as to what you require basically all you'll need is to have um like the gear essentially the levels the higher your magic or combat or uh, range ideally range because i think they're weak to range anyway uh, so if you have uh, your range gear if you've leveled that up currently my highest stat is magic so we're going to be using that and then all you need then is anti-fires we're going to go and jump and get some and then i'll catch you back in a sec so i went out and i bought a ton of anti-fires they're super cheap at the minute you can see in the sale history i managed to pick them up for just 2000 gp each they last you 15 minutes each uh, so you're going to need four pots per hour if you're going to do this for the entire hour i mean you can do but you're going to be banking so often that you don't actually need them in your inventory and it just gives you extra space so how, what is this method all about well if you go from the ge you can go through the uh, shortcut if you've managed to get 21 agility i highly recommend you do it it's just going to save you time uh, from actually getting yourself towards the uh, ge in itself um, but yeah in general all you have to do is you can make your way along this area here and you'll be finding the blue dragons over here now the good thing is is that previously if you wanted to bank you'd either have to run from the uh, blue dragons place all the way to the ge and bank in there or you could run down through varrock and bank in there or alternatively you can bank using uh, the kind of is it the chaos altar i believe it's called um but effectively yeah you could either bank there but the good thing is is now that archaeology has been released there is a bank chest just over here and we can utilize that in just a second so what do you want to do when actually doing the method itself typically i will stand in this sort of region here what you have to do put on your anti-fire make sure that you've done that if you've got um, your protect magic and then you can basically just farm these blue dragons down one thing that you want to do is use your pet that you've probably already picked up at this point in the game and then you can use it make sure that you have uh, the uh, scavenge perk which allows your pet to pick up some of the uh, highest value items uh, that they're going to actually drop and then he'll go and literally pick up some of the dragon bones not all of them um, which is why you want to keep all of the dragons in the similar sort of area so that you if you need to have to go and uh, pick them up and you can see already we've picked up three Every single dragon bone at the minute is worth about 7,400 GP, which is massive. And you can see how quickly we can just farm through these. Um, and you can probably do about 500 dragons an hour. They're super quick to kill. The banking is probably the longest part of it, to be honest with you. Uh, and you can see within this inventory so far, you, we've managed to pick up a ton already. So you can just go through, make sure that you've got area loot on. And in addition to just the actual bones themselves, you'll be getting the rare drops as well. You can have adrenaline crystals. You can get some rune salvage drops, uh, large rune plated drops as well. And yeah, so effectively you can not only get the 7k drops guaranteed every time uh, but you can also get the rare wildy drops as well and if you have got your luck rings on then it's going to make it so much easier uh, and therefore you're going to be able to grind out even more uh, gp per hour obviously i'm just talking purely on the bone value if you were to actually use this and do it super super efficiently and you're going to be grinding out about 500 
per hour, then you're going to be able uh, to get in the region of three and a half million just purely from the bone drops, which is gigantic for the Fresh Start Worlds, considering that most of the stuff in the game is so cheap right now, uh, just purely because no one has GP. And that's really where I think a lot of people are going to find this method super, super helpful. It will just get you your initial GP, which you can use to progress your account. And that is exactly what I'm doing at this point in time. If I need some money, you can see here we're on 2.2 million which i will be definitely spending on some of the skills getting myself 80 smithing and stuff like that for invention which is going to help out with the 99 slayer grind that you'll be seeing in the fresh start worlds videos uh, that we're actually pumping out on this channel as part of a series so you can uh, stay, stay tuned with that obviously you do have to be a little bit careful for some of the mobs as it happens during the video uh, you do just have to keep an eye so don't just afk for the entire time all you have to do literally run south cross the border and at this point we may as well bank since we've got most of the items anyway so you can just go in put your bank items here usually you can surge up to this point just drop it in and of course if you really wanted to what you could do is just set up a quick preset so we can overwrite that and now it's set to our keybind one so every single time that we start off um, doing this uh, we can effectively get the uh, kind of preset and so you don't have to spend even less time banking so that's something I would always recommend and effectively all you have to do is just sit here farm out the dragon bones and of course all of the extras so that you too can earn this crazy amount of money and yeah I've been really enjoying it of course the alternative is what we do now is just grind out a couple of bones and then I'll join you back in a second for an alternative thing that you can do with these. Right, now then, we've actually picked up a full inventory. We'll just finish off uh, with this last one and we can pick up both the dragon bones that we've got. Now we've got a full inventory. If you want to get some prayer experience, then all you have to do is uh, literally go up to this area here. It's amazing experience uh, because the chaos altar still works with the bonus to the amount of xp that you can earn from actually using the altar all you have to do is right click on it click on offer and then you're basically going to be able to get uh, not only the uh, bonus experience from actually playing on fresh start worlds but also the 250 percent experience to how much you would typically get from burying the bones just straight out so all you have to do go over here offer on the chaos altar and you'll see the actual levels that we get we can get in uh, in prayer and you'll probably see uh, multiple levels maybe in this one inventory and remember if you do have the pet as well is that if you do have the summoning level all you can do is you can get a pouch for a beast of burden you use it on your pet and you're able then to not only have your inventory but also the beast of burden inventory on your summoning familiar in quotation marks it's basically your pet and so yeah you can get more bones in every run which means less banking which means less time which means more money per hour or more pro experience per hour and it's just going to be so much easier for you guys uh, to actually grind out some levels and you can see here within that one inventory managed to go up to prayer levels and that allows us to now get protect from melee and that is a massive bonus to our game so hopefully that gave you a good indication as to a really really simple money making method that you can use as well i mean yeah i think this is crazy hopefully you guys found this guide slightly useful and maybe you will already be using this but yeah, for those of you who aren't, make sure to subscribe. And of course, thank you very much for watching to this point, And I hope that you'll join me in the next video coming soon. Goodbye.